Welcome back to another session of technical drawing. In this video, I am going to show you how to draw an isometric drawing which has a combination of cube and cylinder. The drawing will be placed somewhere here for your reference. Right. Let us start drawing the isometric drawing now. To start the drawing, we will be drawing construction lines. So, I'll draw a construction line like this. I'm going to draw a vertical line and then I'll be drawing a line of 30 degrees and I'll be drawing another line of 30 degrees like so. Now, I'm drawing it con as a construction line so that I can erase it later. Now, according to the dimension, the thickness of the structure is 2 centimeters or 20 millimeters. So I will draw a line like this. So from here on, I will develop the drawing slowly. The side is 12 centimeters. So let me draw a line of 12 centimeters. I will be drawing a line vertically above for 10 centimeters or 100 millimeters as it shows in the diagram. So that is a 10 millimeter or 100 millimeter line. Now this line is going to be somewhat like this and then I will be drawing another line for 2 centimeters from here because the thickness of this particular drawing is 2 centimeters like this and then I can keep the set square like this. Okay, and join it like this. Now, this was a construction line. I can make this line a bit thicker, and then I'll erase the unwanted construction line. Yeah, there it goes. Next, I'll be going across like this. So, there, I'll turn my set square like this, and then I have to draw a line like this for the same distance. Now this distance here is going to be 10. So let me measure 10 with the help of another set square. Okay. So it is going to be along this line where I have drawn the construction line. So 10 centimeters is going to be somewhere until here. So that's a 10 centimeter. As I don't have measurements here, I'm using another set square just to find out what is 10 centimeters. So this is 10 centimeters. Same thing here. Now I don't have to measure, I just have to use the set squares and then complete the structure. Like this. That's the structure here. this and then parallel to this line I am going to draw another line like this see I am I'm drawing it as a thin line so that I can delete it later like this and then again from that in intersection point I'm drawing a vertical line like so. Turn it and then draw a line from here like this. And then let me complete this line like so. Like this. Now Darken all the construction lines. I've darkened it. And this line also, I have to make it dark. Yes, I have made it dark. Now, what I'm doing is, I'm not making these three lines darker. Because when I'm going to draw the cylinder, the cylinder might come somewhere like here, and then I'll have to erase those lines. So, that is the reason why I'm not making it dark. I'm just keeping it like this. 
so it is very essential that you plan your drawing as you start constructing it now so what we just finished is the L shape is what we finished now we are going to draw an ellipse here after that we are going to project it 60 millimeters away and then we are going to draw one more ellipse here and then we will be joining with tangents the edges of the ellipse with tangent so that it is going to form a cylindrical structure now if you look at the dimension the diameter of the ellipse is given as 50 millimeters as the ellipse that we are going to draw here is of 50 millimeters in diameter I'm going to leave 1.5 centimeters here like 1.5 centimeters here and then I'm going to draw a line a construction line something like this okay the construction line is going to be like this and then across this side I'm going to leave 2.5 centimeters here and then I'm going to draw a construction line similarly 2.5 centimeters from this side so this is like 2.5 centimeters emitters and then I draw a construction line and then 1.5 from the bottom have the line somewhere here okay hope you can see the rhombus here I'm using only construction lines to draw the rhombus now the height of the cylinder is 60 millimeters so that means that I'm going to draw another rhombus I'm going to project it here for 60 millimeters to do that what I'll do is I'll project this point 60 millimeters and then I'm going to make a small dot there as a reference dot similarly I will project this point 60 millimeters away similarly this point I will project 60 millimeters like so and this word this edge also I will project it for 60 millimeters I have marked the dots now let me draw the lines so that the rhombus will be visible Now we have two rhombus. There is one rhombus here and there is one rhombus here. Now follow the same steps that we follow to draw an ellipse. To draw an ellipse, first I am going to join these diagonals like this. Now I will make use of the set square and the t-square and I'm going to draw a line such that this vertical line is going to pass through the point of intersection of the diagonals like so and let me do the same thing here that's the second step the next thing that I'll do is I will join this vertex with this line and I'll join this vertex with this line so for that I'll be using the straight edge like so and then I'm going to use it like this that's it now these are the lines that I need to draw an ellipse now take the compass with this as the center place the pencil here so this is the center and that will be the radius place it exactly and then draw an arc like so 
similarly turn it now this is going to be the center point and that will be the radius and then draw arc repeat the same thing this is the center place the pencil here that's going to be the radius and then complete the ellipse okay i think i moved the center point a little bit so don't move it when you draw keep it as stable as possible oops it moved again place it exactly in the center and then complete the ellipse it's done similarly we are going to draw an ellipse here but this time we are not going to draw the entire ellipse but we'll be drawing only the upper portion of the ellipse for that we will be following the same procedure join the diagonals This will be the center and that is the radius. Draw only one quarter of the arc. Similarly here, place it exactly at the point of intersection of those two lines. And then draw an arc. Like this. Now this will be the center with this as a radius, complete the arc like so. Now we will be using a straight edge to join this side of the arc with this arc like a tangent. Similarly this one this side of the ellipse has to be joined like this now that completes a cylinder having completed the entire drawing you can erase all the construction lines so be careful not to erase the ellipse okay you can notice that i have erased all the construction line except the center point of this particular circle because I want to draw the center line for this uh, isometric circle. So I will make sure I will not erase the center. Now that is the center point. So I made the center point visible and then I have erased the rest of it. Now let us complete the drawing. Now this should be a visible line. So before we left it as construction line so let me draw the line similarly here i have a line and then i have one line here now, now uh, i can see the center point now this is the center so i have to draw the center line for the isometric circle so i am just drawing some chain line similarly sorry, that is the center that marks the center line last but not the least we have to draw the dimension line to draw the dimension line i will be drawing some extension lines like this and then i will draw the dimension line we will follow the same rules the dimension lines should have a sharp and solid arrow at its edge and then write the dimension here Likewise, 
you can draw all the other dimensions as well. So this completes the isometric drawing with cubes and cylinders.